Hello and welcome back. Um, this is a continuation of the previous series of buttons. And now we're going to use the buttons to activate a door, which is just going to be a cube that moves in a, in, into two different angles. Um, to get an idea on how this all works, you probably best start at part one and then watch part two and then you get to this point the uh the doors so they're pretty simple but this is a nice effective way of running it um, the way it defines which door yeah the way this the, the way that, the way this button defines which door is uh, getting used is based on tags in a very very similar way to how this is all this works, which so we're going to do a door in a very, very similar fashion. So, yeah, so what we need to do is we need to right click down here, blueprint class actor. I'm going to call it single door because we're just going to have two doors and we're just going to paste them each side of this. So we're going to go into the actor and we're going to make a simple cube. Now We're going to go with 0.1. One is okay. And we just want to make it a little bit higher. Now, this sits, doesn't sit on the ground. So we want to actually move it. Negative 50. And we want to put it 100 units higher so the bottom of this sits on the zero plane where we want it and the door is actually hinged off the zero zero point so when we rotate it it'll actually be uh it'll actually be right so what we want to do is we want to go into the event graph and we need to bring in a few things We want to go to class settings. We want to implement the STD interface that we had before. And we want to use the trigger event like the rest of the objects that we've got. Like in the spinning cube using the trigger event just like last time yeah okay back to single door okay so what we're going to do is because we're dealing with the two different states we can just use a flip-flop there's other ways we can do this. We could probably use a you know, use a boolean variable there to say uh, if it's open, close it. If it's closed, open it. We do something similar, but th this works fine as well. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to set the relative position off the default scene route. If we do it off the cube, it'll just spin the it'll just spin the door on its on the middle of it. Whereas if we do it off the default scene route, it'll do it off the whole thing. So what we want to do is we want to set relative rotation. Whoops. Okay. 
connect that there. And we want to do same thing down there. Now we're going to need to split those. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the tag input. To set our, um, to set the position, to set the position of the door when it's open and when it's closed. So that it's Z axis angle, the yaw, the yaw rate. And it's going to come off two of them. Okay. And that's that there. Okay. Now, that should pretty much be it in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drag a door in. And we're going to plonk it in between these two cubes that I've already done. Now, we want to set the tags for this. So what we want is tags, first tag, so we've got single door. We want to set the position for this when it's open and for when it's closed. Now currently the rotation is zero, 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 so for the We go. So for open, we want zero. The easiest way to do this is to go right. Ninety. So we should, all right, be able to. So we went with single door. we go. We've got a door that opens and closes. It's very crude, but it works. And very, very well. And there's no animation yet. We can put something in to this to set it so it opens a little smoother, but uh, I'll do that in another video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's we can do things like 
control B. We can even make this into a double door situation. Okay, so we've got to rotate, hang on. One eighty for open. So one eighty for closed. And what do we want this to be? Negative ninety for open. Negative ninety. And we can go ahead and just we remember the lever object, we can do the same thing there too. We can just pop that all in there. And these two doors should open. Got to correct that. There we go. I'm going to get rid of that gun. Actually, let's not get rid of it entirely. It's just kind of annoying. So, yeah. So at the very first click, it sets it to closed. So yeah, that's the extreme basics of a door that opens and closes. You can do something off this too. So we can implement it as push. So for example, if you wanted to use the classic interact key, but in our case, Very Minecraft like. So, yeah, that's just a very, very simple and crude door. There's many other ways to do this, but this is just a, a nice, simple, easy way.